the journey from being a seed to food. India is one of the world's largest producers of rice. Rice is India's preeminent crop and is the staple food of most Indian homes. The geographical conditions for rice cultivation are temperature 16 to 27 degrees Celsius and rainfall 100 centimeters to 200 centimeters is ideal for rice growing. Soil Rice is grown well on the alluvial soil or on the fertile river basins. It is also grown in mixed soil or loamy and clay soil. Land Plain lands or gentle slopes are suitable for the production of rice because stagnancy of water is a must for the cultivation of rice. Haryana and Punjab are the major basmati rice cultivating states producing more than 60% of the total basmati rice production in India. Manufacturing process of basmati rice Preparation Prior to planting, minimal soil manipulation is needed to prepare for cultivation. Paddies are leveled and surrounded by dikes or levees with the aid of earth-moving equipment. Planting Basmati rice seeds are soaked prior to planting. After 30 to 50 days of growth, the seedlings are transplanted in bunches from nursery beds to flooded paddies. Harvesting Once the plants have reached full growth, approximately three months after planting, the tops begin to droop and the stem yellows. The water is drained from the fields. As the fields dry, the grains ripen further and harvesting is commenced. Depending on the size of the operation and the amount of mechanization, basmati rice is either harvested by hand or machine. Farmers take their produce to the common selling point called Mandi, where different rice processing companies bid to acquire the best produce. Processing Paddy in its raw form cannot be consumed by human beings. It needs to be suitably processed for obtaining rice. Now let us see what all it takes for the paddy to become consumable. The company's representative does an instant preliminary quality check at the Mandi itself and sends the sample of paddy to the laboratory of the company, where it goes through the stringent quality check. In this process, a small sample of the paddy is taken and is passed through the whole processing step at a small level so that the result can be seen in a short while and then the result is reported to the staff responsible for buying the paddy. After the nod of the quality department, the procurement of paddy is done. Then the paddy arrives in the company and is stored in huge tanks called silos in order to prevent it from rain and dust particles. Depending on the demand and taste of the consumers, the paddy is taken into the processing unit. The following steps are taken. Cleaning. The first step in the processing is cleaning, where the unwanted particles are removed from the paddy. Parbolic. Here the paddy is washed in water. The tanks contain cold water after paddy arrives in the tank. The application of steam is done, thus making the water hot. The water in the tank is churned continuously so as to mix the hot and cold water properly. Drying The wet paddy is passed through the steam and with the help of conveyor belts, it is carried to the dryer where it is heated at the temperature of 90 to 100 degrees Celsius. After drying, the paddy is taken to storage tanks called silos via the conveyor belts. It is kept there for 24 hours before taking it to the milling phase. Milling From the storage tanks, the paddy goes for milling with the help of elevators. Here, first the paddy is cleaned and the unwanted dust particles are removed. 
The basic objective of a basmati rice milling system is to remove the husk and the bran layers and produce an edible white rice kernel that is sufficiently milled and free of impurities. Then the paddy passes through the paddy cleaner called destoner, which removes stones from the paddy. Then, with the help of elevators, the paddy reaches the husker, where the basmati rice and husk are separated. Then it is passed through the paddy table, which separates the basmati rice from the paddy. Then the brown color paddy, which is not suitable for eating, is again passed through the previous step until the basmati rice is separated completely. Then the basmati rice goes through the polisher, where the bran that contains oil is removed from the rice. Now the basmati rice is again cleaned with rice cleaner. And then again, the polishing is done to make the rice silky. The surface of basmati rice is smoothened and it is given a shine by passing it through a series of rollers. After that, the grader separates equal sizes of basmati rice. It separates long and short grain basmati rice. Long grain basmati rice then goes ahead for cleaning, then Sortex separates white and colored rice. It contains cameras fitted into it that with the help of sensors detect the color of rice which helps in correct separation of white and colored basmati rice. After separation, the basmati rice is given a rest of one day. Before packaging, the basmati rice is sent to the laboratory where it goes through multiple tests to make sure that the basmati rice is of required quality and specifications. The following tests are conducted. Length scanning. It is done by a machine called length scanner. It ensures that the length of the rice is as desired by the consumers. Moisture measurement. Though all the efforts had been taken during the drying stage to get rid of the moisture, but still, if there is any left, it is detected by the quality team and reported to the concerned people so that the quality of the basmati rice is maintained. Soaking test. In this test, the rice sample is taken and is soaked in water. And after some time, the enhancement of its length is observed and is compared with the standards. Cooking test. In this test, the rice sample is cooked and the specifications are met. Discoloration. Rice is checked for any discoloration and the presence is reported to the production in charge. It is also tested that the rice is not broken. Once the laboratory gives the nod to the quality of the basmati rice, according to the specifications set by the buyers, the basmati rice goes through the packaging stage where it is automatically packed and sealed. Before getting dispatched, basmati rice undergoes one more fugitive test that ensures that it does not contain any hidden impurities and insects, thus making it of high standard and best quality. Then it is loaded in the containers under the supervision of experts and sent to the port from where it is dispatched to Saudi Arabia by ship. So we witnessed today what the paddy goes through to become eatable for the consumers. It is the amalgamation of the technological expertise of the machines and the hard work of the employees of the processing unit. It is their combined efforts that turns a raw crop called paddy to the highly nutritious rice. The perspiration of the operators together with the state-of-the-art technology, lets us enjoy this beautiful food in our plates. So enjoy eating.